Hey guys, Derek here from Nap Lab. The Nolo Signature is an all foam mattress that notably has no memory foam. The Signature has a satisfying pressure relieving feel while still providing an excellent level of support. It's far from a perfect mattress, but has a balanced feel and well-rounded performance. Scores on the Nolo Signature resulted in an overall total of 9.47 out of 10. We had nothing but good things to say for its response time and pressure relief, both receiving a perfect 10 out of 10. However, edge support was found to be pretty lacking and received a score of 8.4. The rest of the categories had scores in the 9s for cooling, motion transfer, sex, off-gassing, and company. The Nola Signature 12-inch is a medium firm mattress. We gave it a firmness rating of 5 out of 10, where 10 is the most firm. It's just slightly softer than your typical medium firm feel, which is the most common firmness among all mattress brands. Next, we're going to talk through what the Nola Signature does best. It's an all foam construction with a fast response. The foam used in the top layers allowed the Nola Signature to be among the fastest responding mattresses we've tested to date. On top of that, it had great cooling performance. The Nola Signature was able to release heat well during our tests. Finally, sleepers have a 120 night trial period. This is longer than most and it comes with a lifetime warranty. All mattresses aren't ideal for all sleepers. Let's talk through the important consideration points for the signature. While I found support to be more than adequate, its sinkage could create problems for those 300 pounds and above. Edge support also felt quite lacking. The sinkage compression while sitting was significantly higher than most mattresses we test and did not make me feel well supported. Motion transfer was also a bit problematic. Our test showed a higher amount of motion being transferred than is ideal, and I believe that top cover is to blame. Your body weight and sleeping position impact the types of mattress that are best able to support you. Our analysis is designed to help match the correct mattress to the right body types and sleeping positions. Support on the Nola Signature was excellent. During our test, I felt fully supported in all sleeping positions. The 5 out of 10 firmness makes it a fantastic choice for side sleepers in particular. Based on the material construction and sinkage we found in our test, I believe heavier weighted sleepers may have some problems. The heavier portions of my body were able to sink down pretty deep into the foam layers. For those that are over 200 pounds, but especially over 250, I could imagine this sinkage might go too far into the hard support foam and create discomfort. At this point, it's a matter of preference between firmness and deep contouring hug. In terms of raw support, the Nola Signature should support sleepers up to 300 pounds, but I wouldn't recommend it for heavier bodies than that. Next up, we're going to move on to our individual performance tests. At Nap Lab, we test each mattress by analyzing according to 10 different factors that impact the feel, comfort, and performance of the mattress. First up, we have our cooling tests. To measure cooling, we lie on the mattress for 15 minutes, allowing it to absorb body heat. Then we get off the mattress and take periodic measurements of the surface level temperature. Our tests show how the mattress retains and releases heat and overall cooling performance. Mattresses that breathe better, retain less heat, and sleep cooler are better as they allow sleepers to maintain a comfortable temperature. Cooling performance on the NOLA Signature was excellent. In our tests, I did not feel any significant heat retention around my body. In terms of the design, the Nola Signature is an all foam construction, but without memory foam. I believe its absence helped reduce heat retention. Looking at our objective test, we measured a max surface level temperature of 88.1 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 1.5 degrees cooler than the average based on all of our tests to date. The cooling performance shows an excellent heat dissipation curve. The Nola Signature releases heat quickly over the course of the 5 minute recording period after getting up from the mattress. The initial drop of 3.6 degrees is about average, but the continued gradual decline after was good. I don't expect cooling will be a major problem on the Nola Signature. For the sinkage test, we lie on the mattress. In addition, we use a 12 pound medicine ball to test pressure point sinkage. Deeper sinkage can cause sleepers to feel overly enveloped by the material layers, while less sinkage can make you feel that you're sleeping more on top of the mattress as opposed to in it. Sinkage is a preferential factor. Some sleepers like deep sinkage and others prefer less. In our pressure point test, we measured a sinkage depth of 2.15 inches. 
This is just slightly less sinkage than the average sinkage of 2.22 inches based on all of our tests to date. We rate this sinkage depth as moderate, but there is also a dramatic body forming contour. It has a softer feel that allows for heavier body parts to become enveloped by the foam. For some sleepers, I could see this being an issue. If you tend to like memory foam, the Nola Signature provides a feeling that is similar. To test motion transfer, we place one 12 medicine ball on one side of the mattress and drop another 12 medicine ball on the opposite side. In addition, we use an accelerometer to objectively measure the motion generated by the medicine ball drop. Lower motion transfer is better as it helps sleeping partners avoid disturbing each other during the night from each other's movements. The NOLA signature has a low to moderate level of motion transfer. In our test, we measured 7.62 meters per second squared of acceleration range. This is 1.20 meters per second squared more than the average motion transfer of 6.42. I find these levels to be good, but not amazing. Typically, all foam mattresses absorb energy far more readily, creating less motion transfer. In my view, the tautness of the cover might be to blame. A tight cover would cause movements on the mattress to pull more dramatically towards them. When we look at the motion transfer chart, we see peaks are quite high, but the duration of the movement is extremely short. Given the short duration of the motion, I don't believe motion transfer will have a dramatic impact on sleepers. To test response time, we place a 12 ball medicine ball on the mattress. Once it's fully at rest, we then quickly remove it and objectively measure the amount of time it takes for the mattress to recover and resume its original shape. A faster response time is better as quicker responding material layers better adapt to your changes in movement and prevent any type of stuck feeling. The response time on the NOLA signature is extremely fast. In our test, we measured a mostly recovered response time of 0.2 seconds and a fully recovered response time of 0.3 seconds. This is as fast as it ever gets. The NOLA signature is tied with the fastest responding mattresses we've tested to date. On average, we see mattresses mostly recovered in 0.52 seconds and fully recovered in 0.97 seconds. As a result, the NOLA signature is significantly faster than the average. Typically, all foam mattresses have a slow response time, especially those that are on the softer side. However, I was pleasantly surprised to find that not the case with the NOLA signature. To run the bounce test, we drop a 12 pump medicine ball onto the mattress. We measure the maximum depth the ball sinks to before rebounding up, as well as the maximum height it achieved on the bounce. Bounce is a preference factor. Some prefer more, others less. However, more bounce is typically better than less bounce as it improves ease of movement, aids in response time, and improves sex performance. The NOLA signature has a low level of bounce. In our test, we measured a total bounce height of 7.56 inches. This is notably less bounce than the average. On average, based on all of our tests to date, we have measured a total bounce height of 9.41 inches. This lower bounce we're seeing is to be expected from a mattress with this level of firmness. Generally, I like to see 8 to 12 inches of bounce. We're a good bit below that with the NOLA signature. As a result, some sleepers may find the bounce lacking. For an assessment of edge support, I lie on and sit on the edge of the mattress to measure the level of support and compression. Less sinkage while sitting and lying directly on the edge of the mattress is better as it creates a more supportive edge for sleeping, lounging, and amorous activities. Edge support on the NOLA signature leaves much to be desired. While sitting directly on the edge of the mattress, we measured 6.25 inches of sinkage compression. Compared to the average sitting edge compression of 4.61 inches, this is considerably more. And subjectively, I just didn't feel well supported when sitting directly on the edge. For reference, I like to see 4 inches of sinkage or less. Lying edge support was better, but not amazing. The foam just create a lot of sinkage. This is more acceptable in the middle of the mattress, but at the ends, it just leaves you with insufficient support. The sinkage dip is more pronounced when using a weighted vest that brings my weight up to 200 pounds. All things considered, the NOLA signature does not have bad edge support, but it is far from great. Our sex test uses a weighted formula to assess sex performance. Higher bounce and more supportive edges are the most important factors, with noise, pressure relief, and cooling being lesser weighted inputs. Mattresses with more bounce and better edge support perform better for sex, as do mattresses that don't make as much noise and are more comfortable to lie on. For the NOLA signature, these individual factors generated a sex score of 9.3. The score makes a lot of sense when we consider the weight of each factor. High levels of bounce are better for sex, 
and since bounce was less than ideal, it had a slightly negative impact on the score. When you factor in edge support, the overall sex performance is less than amazing. Our pressure relief test is a measure of overall pressure relief performance. We analyze materials, layers, thicknesses, density, and design elements in conjunction with a subjective assessment of our experience while lying on the mattress. Mattresses with better pressure relief are able to create a more comfortable sleeping surface. Pressure relief on Nola Signature is exceptionally good. During our test, I felt incredibly comfortable in all sleeping positions. We've mentioned the mattress creates a lot of hug, but it still has a balanced level of contour around the body. This thick comfort layer in all foam construction ensures an even and balanced transitional support for most body types. When it comes to pressure relief, I have nothing but praise for the Nola Signature. To evaluate off-casting, we assess the mattress following initial unboxing, taking a subjective measure of any strong smells. We monitor the mattress over a period of days until the mattress no longer has a strong smell. Mattresses with a less strong smell and or a smell that dissipates more quickly are better. Out of the box, the Nola Signature had a strong smell. The smell lasted for a full seven days before dissipating. This is quite a bit longer than the average time for off-casting, which is around three days. NOLA makes their mattress to order and entirely within the US. NOLA offers a 129 trial period and lifetime warranty. Shipping is free, but returns will cost you $99. I would recommend the NOLA Signature for sleepers who are looking for an all foam mattress with a medium feel. The firmness is a 5 out of 10, and our experience with it, it offered great contour and hug around the body. It has an extremely fast response time, being tied with the fastest responding mattresses we've tested to date. We found the pressure relief to be exceptionally good. It has a not too deep sinkage that your body just melts into. Finally, its cooling performance is better than most all foam mattresses, likely due to the absence of memory foam. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Comments or questions, please drop those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the NOLA, we've got a link in the description. For more from NapLab, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit over at naplab.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.